Hi, Beer and Beer, it's Joe's Fan TV, back with another video, and Rangers were in SPL action last night away to Limston, where it finished Limston 0, Rangers 1, goal come from Morelos, and literally again, two halves, Rangers in the first half not doing or creating as much, Limston having a good goal, uh, but Rangers struggling to find an out, whether it be Davis, Arfield, Arebo, uh Hollander, and Morelos, but obviously the big talking point in the first half was uh, Morelos, but before getting to that, the starting 11 for Rangers, yesterday was McGregor, Nets, back four of Patterson, Goldson, Hollander and Barisic, midfield three of Arfield, Davis and Kamara up front, Arebo, Morelos and Kent, and like I said, the big talking point in the first half for Rangers was in the 37th minute, Morelos goes through and goal, looks as if he's going to either beat the keeper or go round the keeper uh, but the ref, uh, the goalkeeper does catch and ref uh, John Beaton decides that Morales has dived and gives a booking and looking at the angle it's kind of side on you can see the goalkeeper catch Morales' left foot and doesn't give the penalty so Rangers go in at half time uh, now now Obviously, uh, if you didn't know, Stephen Gerrard got set to the stands on the 40th, round about the 45th minute in the uh, stoppage time in the first half. So, Gerrard sent to the stands, second half Rangers come out, they keep uh, going and round about the 60th minute, uh, Rangers get a free kick, ball comes in, it looks as if uh, Goldson has scored. But very tightly, and truthfully, I think probably about a millimetre offside. Blindsman gives it, but very late. And Rangers keep going and decide to make a change in the 73rd minute. Scott Arfield uh, makes way for Cedric Itton. And after that, Rangers continue to create chances, whether it be Davis, Ken, uh, Morelos, or Rebo. But Rangers do get their goal in the 87th minute. Davis gets the ball, passes the ball to Kent, who puts the ball into Kamara, who manages to beat the Limston player, passes the ball to Davis, who hits a shot, keeper saves it, and as he pams it out, Morales there, uh, just to tap it in to make it 1 0. Four minutes later, Rangers decide to make a change in the 91st minute. Ryan Kent goes off for Zunga and Rangers basically just see out the game and yeah, it, uh, maybe not the best game for goals but you know, you put the ball in the net and you can win the games, it makes everything good so overall you know, a clean sheet, no injuries and Rangers next game will be, I believe, on the 6th which is this Saturday at home to St Mirren, kickoff is 3 o'clock and yeah, it will be a very interesting game, St Mirren obviously have done very well this season and after the Rangers game I think a lot of eyes will be on the Sunday where Dundee United are at home to Celtic, obviously if you don't know that will be the last uh, league game. Uh, before the old firm, so it's going to be a very interesting old firm game. Uh, that's on the 21st of March at Celtic Park or Parkhead. So it'll be interesting to see that Rangers uh, game after St. Men will be Europa League at Savia Prague. So it's going to be a very interesting uh few weeks for Rangers playing St Mirren to then play Salva Prague. Uh, following week play them at Ibrox and then on the Sunday you've got Old Firm so it'll be very interesting to see what happens but overall Rangers get the job done, get the three points, Morales scores again and yeah we'll see what happens on Saturday but big thanks to everyone that's been watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then I'm out. Thanks.